So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to first work on the design further and then I'm going to display the product information on the right side. First of all, in the single product, I'm going to give the section, I'm going to give this section, this section, I'm going to give it the bootstrap class, the container. I'm going to say here container. Why? Because if I give it the container, you'll find that if I refresh, you'll find that it will fit the screen perfectly. As you can see, there will be there will be here more space, and the uh, the slider uh, was removed. Now let's work on this area. Let's here display information about this product, such as the product information, uh, product de details, the quantity, the add to cart button, all of these things. And to do this, remember below this div, and inside. Inside the raw, inside this raw, which is this dev, we need to create another uh, dev. We need here to say dev, and this dev is gonna have class, and that class will have column large six for for large screens, for medium screens. I'm gonna give it twelve columns for for uh, small screens you can give it uh, 12. Let's give it 12. By the way, you can say here column uh, call 12 without saying SM, which means that uh, by default it's gonna be, uh, by default it's gonna take 12 columns in case uh, in case the screen is uh, doesn't fit, is not considered large and it's and is not considered medium either, it will take 12 columns. So here inside this div, first I'm going to display H6, and then I'm going to say here uh, home, for example, or men, let's say men, shoes, and then uh, I'm going to display H3, and in this H3 I'm going to display the uh, uh, some text, let's say uh, the, the category, for example, men's fashion. And I'm going to give this a class, class PY4, uh, padding top and bottom 4. Next, I'm going to work on the uh, price. So be below this H3, we need to display the price. I'm going to say here H2, and then I'm going to display the price. Here, I'm going to say price, any price you want. And then, let me below this price, I'm going to display the input, and that input will display the number of products. I'm going to say input, and, and inside this input, we need to give it first a type. The type will be a number, because this is a number, and a value. The value is 1. Because by default, the user, we would expect the user to buy only one item. And uh, uh, therefore, we need to say here, one. And uh, below this, I'm going to display a button. I'm going to say here, button. Button, and then for this button, I'm going to say, add to cart. Add to cart. And I'm going to give it a class class that class is going to be by button by button which the button that we already have and um, and we can use another class if we want or we can edit this 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 uh, class I'm going to show you the I'm going to show you another method of ed editing the the design of this button but first let me show you how this looks like now if I refresh as you can see, we have here, it says uh, main section, main shoes, and then main fashion, and then here 155, which is the price, and then here the um, one, one which is the quantity. Here you can increase the quantity and the add to cart button. But of course, we need to work on the design. And also, we need to display the details. So first, let's display the details below this button. Below this button, I'm going to here say H4. below the button 
and I'm going to say here product details let's give this h4 plus margin top 5 and margin margin bottom 5 and below it I'm going to display the text so I'm going to say here spam and, be, and inside that span, I'm going to display the details. I'm going to say here the details. So this is just a, a this, this text is just for the sake of testing and later we can edit this text. Let me here click on file and then save all and let me show you how this would look like. So if I refresh as you can see this is how it's going to look like. However we need to fix the design of this. Of course the design is not that good. Let's work on the design. So I'm going to hand it over to the style.css and in the style.css what we want to do is that we want to work on the button and we want also to work on the uh, the input we need to fix the input so I'm gonna start by fixing the input so the input here has a outline here uh, colored in blue and I, I want to remove this to remove this I'm gonna say here single product remember the 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 big uh, section class is single product so I'm gonna say here dot single product and then I'm going to access the input I'm going to say input and then I'm going to say here focus focus and then I'm going to remove the outline I'm going to say outline outline none now if I if I refresh and uh, here if I uh, click here inside the borders or the fo the outline was removed let's work on the design of that uh, input so I'm gonna say here that single product and then input the input itself and now let's let's fix the width so the width as you can see the width is too big we don't want this we want it to be much smaller so I'm gonna change the width I'm gonna say here width so the width would be only let's say uh, 50 px only and then I'm going to change also the height to 40 percent 40 px and I'm going to change also the padding and the font so for the padding left we want to add we want to add padding left because because as you can, as you can see the number is very close to the left side and we want to shift that number a little Next, I'm going to change the font size. So the font size would be 16px. And finally, I'm going to add margin right. Margin right 10px. Because I want here some space. I want here some space. Let me refresh and show you how this is going to look like. As you can see now, the, this, this input looks perfect now. The number is very clear and big enough for the user to see, and the 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 box itself is very uh, very good in terms of its dimensions. Uh, this is for the input. Let's work on the button. So for the button, remember this this button. The button. I'm gonna change the color of this button. So instead of displaying this button in black, I'm gonna display it in orange. So I'm going to say here dot single product and then dot buy button and then I'm going to work on this. Remember that we already have a class called buy button. But if I if I just access the buy button uh, one more time without saying single product, this is going to ruin the, the original design of the buy button. Therefore, we need to say single product and then buy button or we can create a new class so you have two options you can create a new class called add to cart for example or you can use here single product and then buy button so you can here 
if you don't want to be confused if you don't to if you don't want to get confused you can here say add to cart button but but uh, add to cart button is going to be a very long word therefore I'm, I'm just going to say buy button so i'm going to say here buy button but but you need to know that this buy button since i said single product it's inside the single product page let's change now the background color i'm going to say background color so the background color is going to be the orange color that i have already used uh, earlier and i'm going to i'm going to change the opacity to one i want the opacity to be one and i want transition transition of point four seconds all let's save and refresh and as you can see it's going to be orange it's going to be orange let's also change the the hover so i'm going to add a hover effect to it i'm going to say single product dot buy button and then hover and i'm going to change this to i'm going to change the background i'm going to say background so the background color if i hover over it let's use this color so as you can see if I hover over it it's gonna be like this so this is how it's gonna look like I think it looks amazing and you might be you might think that this area is too big it's not actually too big because we we don't have here text but we when we have here a lot of text it's not gonna be that big um, so here let me show you what I mean so here uh, we need to add this text many times so let me add this text four or five times I'm gonna say I'm gonna paste it here one two three four so if we have a lot of text here and we will we should have a lot of text that describes this uh, product as you can see the area is not uh, it's not large because we now we have a lot of text so this is how it's gonna look like uh, now what we want to do is that we we want to display the related products below this uh, below this so in order to do this we need to get the products the 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 code that we already have created so if you if we go back you will find that if you go back to the remember if you go back to the index let me go to the index so if you go to the index which is the home page you'll find that we already have this this uh, this featured section we can use this fe uh, featured section in the single product to display the related products so I'm gonna head on over to the index and in the index remember we have we have here the featured I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna close it first and then I'm gonna copy it and I'm going to paste it in the single product.html below below this section below this section below the single I'm going to say here single product so below the single product I'm going to paste the this featured and then I'm going to change first here instead of featured I'm going to say related products related products and I'm gonna here say ID related products related products and here I'm gonna say related products and I'm gonna remove this paragraph I don't I, I don't need this paragraph here and let me close this section and let's save and head on over to the browser and refresh and as you can see we will have this related products displayed here which looks amazing below it's, it's gonna be below this below the single product uh, area here 